Hi folks, this is your MWIS Fleeting View in association with Petzl. A very cold and interesting few days ahead as we have some snowfalls in the forecast. This is the chart for Wednesday. We're all under that cold Arctic air mass that has swept in from the north in recent days. Not too much wind around across a good part of the highlands and a good amount of sunshine. So a crisp winter's day to be found here. One or two showers though toward the far north of the highlands. Some snow and some hail with those falling to the lowest slopes. Windier across England and Wales, gusty across the Welsh mountains with those easterlies ahead of a frontal system pushing up from the south. And that has the risk of producing some snowfalls, particularly around the Brecon Beacons and maybe nudging further northwards across Wales as time goes on. A dry day though across the Peak District, the Pennines and the Lake District. Now I'll take the story on into Thursday and Friday using this chart which indicates the precipitation type and the blue is the snow, the green is the rain according to the forecast model and initially on Thursday mostly just flurries across Wales and maybe into the Midlands, possibly that snow more persistent across the Welsh mountains. That's starting to transition back to rain from the south as some milder air gets in, some uncertainty how far northwards across Wales that milder air does move. It could well be that for North Wales the precipitation stays as snow over the mountains most or all of the day. And that snow setting in increasingly heavy and persistent across North England. So from the Peak District, the Pennines and to the Lake District as well, some continuous snowfalls setting in accompanied by strengthening near gale force easterly winds. So blizzard conditions developing over the hills in this part of the world. That snow may also push into the south of Scotland, although that might be as far as it gets. The Highlands, just generally a dry, bright, very cold day with one or two local snow showers or flurries in the north and the east. That whole belt of snow is likely to continue later in the day across northern England. Again, we might just turn things a bit more sleety across the Peak District if that milder air can push further northwards. Uncertainty with that and some showers with some rain for a time across Wales into the night. Possibly that snow does go as far north as the southern uplands. There is great uncertainty on the northward extent into the early hours of Friday. Very likely, though, the Pennines and the Lake District will see some ongoing heavy falls of snow as we start the day on Friday. It's likely that that begins to break up into showers as time goes on during Friday daytime. We may well still see some areas of showers with snow across northern England and Wales through into the afternoon though and some snow showers too for northern Scotland but once more across central and western parts of the highlands may well be a dry and bright day. Wind speeds can vary quite considerably through Friday. The risk of gales as that area of low pressure moves through England and Wales. Lighter winds developing across Scotland but just watch the detail at this stage. It will still feel bitterly cold. The forecast detail into the weekend, it must be said, is incredibly uncertain at this stage. So don't take this chart with any great local detail. There may be a bit of a gap in the weather systems for a while, but further fronts over the Atlantic are trying to push in. And the idea of some further snowfalls, which may encroach a bit further northwards, even into the highlands by this stage. Turning more to rain, though, over England and Wales, this next push of a front just seems to be a little bit further north with its milder air. So this could turn things wetter. But as I say, the weekend detail is very open to question at this stage. A mix of rain and hill snow very much in the forecast. You can stay up to date with all your local details on our website. That's your fleeting view in association with Petzl.